YouTube family. How you doing? This is Rhonda with Rhonda Loves Life Travel Diaries. Thanks for joining me. All right, in this video, I want to discuss with you, share with you my trip to New Orleans. My very first trip, I got sick the first day. I, uh, I did explain to you guys in another video that it was a vertical, thank God, nothing serious. Um, but um, after that, it was it was pretty much non, you know, nothing scary. I just had a fantastic time in New Orleans. It was my very first time and I plan on going back. It was great food, great music, great tours. I even got a chance to see a psychic or tarot card reader. So check out my videos. In this specific, in this particular video rather, I'd like to discuss with you, um, share with you my tour of the Garden District in New Orleans. The history is just phenomenal. Well, um, what I did was I went on TripAdvisor and I reviewed their um, the tours, the different tours that they had. I love TripAdvisor because you get reviews on the tours and everything. So uh, it's a great tool to have, app to have when you go travel, when you travel. So um, Harris, he was the head of this uh, tour of the Garden District. Now they called the tour the Lafayette Cemetery Tour. But you don't really get access to the cemetery, um, but you do get a two-hour tour of the Garden District, and it was well worth the money. It was not expensive at all. I think it was. I think I paid like maybe thirty bucks or something. It was not expensive at all. It was very hot. So what I did was I made sure that I carried. Let me show you. I made sure that I carried this. This is like nine cups. I love this and I, I put ice in it so I carry that and I, I drink like that this entire nine cup canister per day so I know that I'm being hydrated it's good to have your eight plus cups of water right so it was nice to have that I filled it up with ice and water so I was nice and cool hydrated because it was easily it was humid and it was like a good it was, it was easily over 85 degrees it was really hot but the, let me tell you, touring that district, the Garden District, and hearing the stories, the history of it, Harris, actually the tour guide, Harris, he's, his family has been in New Orleans for generations. Like he's part black and part Cherokee Indian. Um, so uh, it was just a history of his life. And then just the guard, those homes are just incredible. And um, he was explaining how and the way they show wealth is that they would purchase the entire block or they'll split and then, and then they start splitting the blocks into halves or quarters. And um, he talked about the different designs on the canisters, like the lace designs and how when you're wealthy, your house was colored. Um, and if you did not have money, you just had, I guess, a plain uh, what white or cardboard I don't know but if your house was colored then you know like uh, pastel or whatever that's considered wealthy but look at these beautiful homes and guess what celebrities live in New Orleans Sandra Bullock her she adopted a young black boy in New Orleans as a baby so she decided to live there because that was his home and uh, her house was there. Oh, she's just cute house. These beautiful homes. It's like I would love to be able to afford to live, but it would cost a hell of a lot of money to uh, rehab the place, right? I mean, to, to probably a hell of a lot of money. Um, but who else? Nicholas Cage house and Rice lives there. Um, who else? Um, what's the guy? Is it John Goodman? Uh, from Roseanne, I believe he lives there. I think it is him. Uh, who else did they say? Did we say? Did I say Anne Rice? Uh, what else? There was so much. It, you know, the post they had post lined up uh, uh, in front of the house, and I guess that was a, a sign of health. Uh, I'm not health of wealth, and um, they. I guess when the carriage comes up, they will put, they will attach the horse to this post. Um, and then they, uh, in the front, they would have these concrete um, blocks. And I guess that's for women when they get out of the carriage and the sewer runs along in the street. So by having that block there, the, the woman can step right on that block and she's not stepping into the sewage. 
all this kind of history. But the homes are just beautiful. Check it out. Uh, I really enjoyed the tour. If you get a chance, check it out. It's called the Lafayette Cemetery Tour. And the tour guide name, name is Harris. And he gives you two hours of history. And, you know, I wish I had a notebook because he was like an encyclopedia of information. And to look at though, to step back in history, and know that these homes have been around since the late 1800s, the mid, mid to late 1800s is just incredible. Um, let me see what else. Um, I, you know what, check it out for yourself and I hope you enjoy these images. And um, if you get a chance to go to New Orleans, try the Garden District Tour. And it's called the Lafayette Cemetery Tour. All right, guys, I hope you get something from this video. I enjoy sharing it with you. And check out more of my videos. They will get better with time as I post more. But I hope you get something from the video. I want to thank you for watching. And I'll chat with you soon. Love you. Ciao.